got a little bit of a downhill here before we hit a rock face, which is probably a 30% incline, uh, possibly even more. I have to get the tractor out and try and work out what the. It's probably, well, it'd be 45 degrees easy, um, but I'm not too sure what the percentage would be. Anyway, I'll um, pop this back on in a sec when we're climbing it. And there she is. So you can see here sort of incline that we're on. She's getting steeper and steeper. I'll just pan around here. And that's rock face up there. Bit of a slippery one. Let's uh let's give this a crack. Might actually come up around the right hand side here might be a bit easier. Because it's been raining a bit this morning. That rock face is looking a bit green. So I'll just come up around the side here. It's actually a bit more of a foothold along this edge compared to all the flat surfaces there. Oh yeah, she's slippery. <laughs> Slipperier than usual. around you can see the angle there Oop, big drop off <laughs> you can see through the trees there. I don't know if you can see the lake out there oh, let's get a pan back oh, let's see if I can do this with one hand <laughs> keep it the other one show you people out there oh, what's in this rock face here so there's another Black section coming up. Let's get through this little rocky bit here. Lots of climbing. So I reckon this would be pretty similar to Barclay's rat jaw that they've got to do multiple times. Um, where you've just got that relentless climb, very steep, rutted out. Um, in this case you can see how wet the rock face is um, just to add to the excitement a little bit slippery here we go maddie's been through here this morning you can see some footholds here oh sweet here we go and it's nearing the top of this climb as you can hear the watch is stopping because i'm going that slow um, And come back into a bit of trail up here. When it's not quite all the tower climb yet, we've still got another K or so in climbing. But that's the majority of it done. Come out the old rock face there. You can see we've got a fair bit of elevation here now. Alright. Sign off and get this finished. This is our final little climb to the tower. There's a comms up there. Lost the others back there. I didn't want to stop and wait for them because of the mozzies. They're pretty bad at the moment. Pretty bad. Okay. And comms towers. It's on about five towers up here. What have we got? The one in the middle here is ours. It's a little fire tower. It's on race day. Probably have to do this. This little loop here around the tower. There's our view. Pork quarry out there. Yeah, race day will do that loop for today. You know, a little peephole here. Whoop. 
I have to climb up this thing. Oh, I must need two hands for this, it's pretty steep. There we go. Oh boy. A set of rungs. Oh, look at that. Not a bad view. Actually, it's quite good for the view today because being overcast, we don't have all the sun out the front here. It's quite a clear morning, so you can see right out. That's Port Macquarie way out there. Just walk around the tower here, give you a bit of a bird's eye. Look at that mountain range out the back there, that's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Nice and clear. And then that's looking out over Bago. Um, back around there's uh, North Brother in the distance over there. Middle Brother is Bago directly in front of us. Bago Bluff on the other side of all that farming property. So, so yeah, this is it from the tower. Can cross fire tower. And uh, this is a turnaround point, so we're going to head back down Tower Road. Wet feet. <laughs> <laughs> 